What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I just wanted to share with you one of my best cup from last year. This is the New Balance 327 in collaboration with Levi's in the indigo or navy blue colorway. My name is Carly Sandra and this is All About Sneakers. Before we start with anything, I would like to invite everyone to please subscribe to this channel. If I'm not mistaken, more than 90% of the viewers in this channel is not yet subscribed to this channel. So please, I would like to invite everyone to please subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like, ring the bell for you to be notified, and share it with your friends so that we can create more content in this channel. If you are new to this channel, I would like to give you a breakdown of what you're gonna expect in this uh, sneaker review that we're gonna have. First, we're gonna talk about the background or the collaboration or the story behind the sneaker. Second, we're gonna talk about the materials of this sneaker. Uh, third, we're gonna check the comfort, the fit, the sizing of the sneaker. And then fourth, uh, we're gonna have the resale uh, or the price point where we're gonna talk about the resale and even the retail value of the sneaker. And then the last one will be more of the on-fit shots or montage for the sneaker. What I have in my hand is the New Balance 327 in collaboration with Levi's. Uh, those two brands doesn't need any more introduction but I think what makes this sneaker really dope is the design that they have made in this kind of sneaker and of course the collaboration between those two brands. This sneaker was released November 10 in America and even in Asia Pacific region. It was released in Europe for December on December 27 and then in Latin America if I'm not mistaken December 3. However, we got the sneaker from Commonwealth Philippines on December 12. So we happened to be driving in BGC when we received this notification on Instagram from Commonwealth's account. And then uh, I just have to uh, you know fly over the Rockwell uh, branch of Commonwealth and then uh, we're lucky that this is still available in my size and we were able to cup some. We tried to join Seoul Academy uh, raffle during uh, I think a few days before that one but we took an L. Uh, we didn't get a win in that one. Luckily, we got this from Commonwealth. This is inspired from the New Balance iconic running shoes of 1970s. They happen to call this a T27 silhouette. And then uh, the company is claiming this one to be their ultimate leisure kicks or an all-day sneakers. Uh, probably something that you can wear in every or in any uh, outfit that you have. This also comes in a full gray colorway, not just on this uh, medial side, but a full gray colorway in another, in another colorway. And then another colorway as well. Uh, for a women's exclusive, I'll just gonna put it here somewhere in the screen and this is actually a third one with a blue or navy colorway in the lateral side and then on the side you can see this gray colorway. This is what I'm excited about when it comes to the material of this sneaker. This is what we call an asymmetrical design of a sneaker. This is something I've learned as well from Mr. Sean, uh, Santa Maria, so shout out to you sir. Uh, when it comes to the sneaker, it comes with a very, uh, lightweight design or lightweight material when it comes to the upper part of the sneaker and you're gonna see right away this exaggerated N logo of New Balance with a very small design of Levi's or logo of Levi's right there which you can see in their pants as well or uh, any item that uh, Levi's is producing in their shop. And then you're gonna see in the lateral side this navy blue colorway if you can see there in the toe up to the eyelets and even heel in the side of the heel uh, counter. You're gonna see as well like a denim design right here. And then when it comes to the medial side, you're gonna see almost different design. And again, when you say asymmetrical design, they have a different kind of design in each side of the sneaker. This one comes with a blue colorway in the lateral side with the N logo. And while the other side right here, you're gonna see like a gray uh, denim right here. And then this very light material, which I'm not sure uh, how it's made of or what this one is made of. So. Yep, uh, let me know in the comment section if there's something that you know how you call it. But yeah, uh, this is a very light kind of material which I'm not sure of. When it comes to the outsole of this sneaker, you're going to see it's made out of this gum sole that extends up to the heel counter of the sneaker. Which is, this is something that I really love. If you didn't know, I'm always a fan of asymmetrical design of sneaker. Most of the time, I actually wear my sneaker in mismatch, in ultra boost. Some, sometimes, I do it in Yeezys, but yeah. This one is really a good one. This is a really dope colorway. Going back to the upper of the sneaker, you'll see here the white laces and then this uh, brown leather right here in the tongue tab. And then you're gonna see that New Balance logo as well in blue colorway. And then what you're gonna see in the insole that says Levi's for feet and then New Balance. So those 
are the materials that we have in this kind of sticker. When it comes to the sizing of this sticker, this one goes for two to size. I'm a size eight. I cop a uh, size eight as well on this one and it fits really nice for me. When it comes to the comfort, this is one comfortable sneaker. The cushioning, the comfort inside is really good. This is something that uh, you can use for every day, like an all day kind of sneaker. And then if you can see that wide midsole, uh, this one provides like a very nice stability as well. So when it comes to the comfort and the sizing and then yeah, the cushioning of this sneaker, this is this one's really good. One more thing to take note of here is the heel tab that we have here. I'm used to sneakers with, uh, from the si sock liner, it's always flat going to the heel tab. But this one has this uh, different design uh, when it comes to the heel tab and it's not really that flat compared to the sock liner. I always wear ankle socks which is you're not gonna see when you wear the sneakers and this is just a bit bothering for me in the back part of my uh, foot so yep that's one thing that you can take uh, take note of but still this is a health comfortable sneaker now when it comes to the price point of this sneaker this retails for uh, 6,000 pesos here in the Philippines and then 120 from uh, US uh, dollars so when it comes to the resale this is just selling for around probably 8,000 pesos or 160 dollars not really that huge when it comes to the resale value and for me i think this one is one underrated sneaker if you will ask me if this is something that will go up soon that i'm not sure of i think no but uh just in case the new balance and the levi's will have a you know a hype future uh there's gonna be a story that might hype the sneaker so that is still a possibility this is still a unique design but yeah i don't think this is something that will go up in value soon Now that's gonna be it for reviewing this sneaker. If you're gonna ask me if I will rate this sneaker 1 out of 10, I will definitely give this sneaker 10 out of 10. Yes, this uh, collaboration is really dope. For me, this is one underrated sneaker. This is actually my first New Balance, so I don't really have like a lot of expectation when it comes to these New Balance kicks. But when I try to use this on feet, uh, when I look at the design, the materials, the collaboration behind this, imagine you have New Balance and then the Levi's. You have that uh, you have that exaggerated logo right there with that Levi's design on the logo that is really dope for me. Uh, material wise, this is really awesome as well. I like those asymmetrical design. When it comes to the price point, this is really cheap compared to Yeezys and even Jordans nowadays. And of course, when it comes to fit and comfort, this is one comfortable sneaker. So for me, it's a 10 out of 10. How about you guys? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if this is a cop. This is a uh, flip or this is something that you can uh, uh, rock for your personal uh, pair. I don't think this is one good sneaker that you can flip. But yeah, uh, as a personal pair, I think this is something that I can recommend to everyone of you guys. So again, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Ring the bell for you to be notified. Give this video a like and share it to your friends. Once again, my name is Carlos Sondra and this is all about sneakers.